It's Philip again, and today we have a look at the Zettelkasten again. I have done a video about the Zettelkasten principle and about my Zettelkasten notion in the past. Uh, this time we are looking on how to actually build a Zettelkasten in Notion, in our favorite app Notion. Notion is the Swiss army knife of productivity tools. And it can be used for tons of different use cases from habit tracking, from building an internal Wikipedia, and of course, for knowledge management, it's very popular for building a second brain and uh, one very famous concept for a second brain developed by the German sociologist Niklas Luhmann is the Zettelkasten. The Zettelkasten or Slipbox is a decentralized node management system. Instead of folders, it mainly uses tags and internal links to create a dynamic network of nodes. You can think of it like the World Wide Web. So web pages link together to form a vast interconnected network. And in the Zettelkasten, that's what we'll be doing with our nodes. So the nodes form a kind of web of knowledge. So today I am giving you a quick tutorial on how to build your personal Zettelkasten in Notion within a few minutes. Of course, um, if you're interested, you can still buy my template. Now you might point out, hey, Philip, you're self-interested in selling this template. Yeah, of course, I'm self-interested. Uh, the Zettelkasten template I've created for Notion is so far the most successful template I've created, and it gets tons of great reviews and have a lot of people in building their uh, knowledge systems. It's also a little bit more complex than the Zettelkasten I'm going to showcase in this video. Uh, that will be more a simple setup, uh, simple setup you can built within some minutes and uh, the Zettelkast I've created uh, as a template is a bit more complex. For example, it also uh, comes with a spaced repetition uh, tool. It uh, includes the Feynman or Feynman method for learning more complex uh, topics. And it has also a tool for incremental reading and writing, if that is something that is interesting for you. So I would say it's the most complex Zettelkast template on the market at the moment. And I hope also in the future, I will continuously update it. So to make sure that it will be stay on the top. So if you're interested in buying the template, please click on the link in the description. It comes with a discount. So without further ado, let's dive into Notion. Notion is often called the Swiss army knife among productivity tools. It can be employed in tons of areas and tailored to your specific needs. But if you're a beginner in Notion, you might feel a bit overwhelmed because you have so many choices and so many things you could do and setting up a Zettelkast is maybe not the easiest part, the easiest thing you can do as a beginner. That is the reason why today in this video, I will show you a step-to-step -step tutorial on how to set up your personal Zettelkasten in Notion. So start by creating a Notion database and this database will be used for storing your notes. Uh, you can uh, name it uh, with every name you have on your mind. In this case, I will simply call it Zettelkasten because that's the core of our future Zettelkasten. Each entry in this database is a new note and it should have a title it should include some main content. And if you want, you can even include images and videos. I suggest to add properties like name, summary, reference to make it easier to find your notes again. Maybe now you're worried about adding the notes on the go because um, yeah, using Notion on your mobile phone is often not the easiest thing to do. But uh, for that case, I use a Notion button because with a button you can create new notes uh, very easy on the fly. And that works even on a mobile phone. So we set up the button and we say the title should be named Note. And when you click on it, yeah, we create new notes. It's, it's working. Um, I would add an icon. Let's uh, add some checkbox. And now what's missing is yeah, a title for the button. Let's call it new notes and you see it's working. As you will add more and more notes with time, uh, you should use some status labels like fleeting notes or permanent notes to categorize your notes better. Fleeting notes are more or less drafts. You should first revise them and link them with other notes. And only when you have completed that should you change the status to a permanent note. 
So a permanent note is a note that should stay permanent in your Zettelkasten. Fleeting notes are notes you take during the day and in many cases you would just simply delete it after revising it because it's not that relevant as you have thought at first. When working with a Zettelkasten, less is more. Try to go for, for quality and not for quantity and you really don't need to put every piece of information, every thought, every, yeah, every, uh, uh, everything you've learned inside the Zettelkasten. It's better to focus on yeah, a couple of quality entries per week or maybe one or two entries per day but you don't you really don't need to add like 10 entries every day i think uh, in that case in most cases the quality will not be really high linking notes well that's um, yeah the core of the tell custom concept a notion that can be done in two ways you can either use a relation property or you simply link inside the content just you would do with a Wikipedia article. I also suggest using tags because they help in clustering your related notes and they also help in making your Zettelkasten more, stay more organized. For tags, I would create a second database, a tag database that uh, is linked to your original Zettelkasten database. It gives you all the cat categories, it shows you all the categories that are used in your Zettelkast. And if you click on any of the entries, on any of the tags, you see all the related notes. For references, I would do something similar. Create a separate literature database and that is used to store all your sources. And that literature database can be then connected to your original Zettelkast database again. So you have, uh, when you create a new note, you simply uh, link it to the literature stored in the literature database. So let's make it a bit more attractive here. So when we are adding new notes, I want to uh, make the fleeting note automatically. For that, we apply the filter. So the filter with um, add fleeting notes and uh, we call it add new note. That's the first view here. And uh, you should also be as a user, be able to change the view to see all notes. So we have a view without any filter and we call it all notes. So and that makes navigating the Zettelkasten a bit more easy. And before I forget, when adding the button, I want to apply the fleeting note type automatically. So we add this here as well and that's it. So you see setting up a Zettelkasten is pretty easy, but it will only work when you when you succeed in establishing a routine, you should update, link, edit and review your notes frequently and you should aim to make your notes and your, your, your Zettelkasten better with every day. The Zettelkasten, it's an ongoing project. It's not something that will be finished one day. So you will have always, you will always have some notes that are not finished, that are maybe, well, yeah, in the draft mode, yeah, that are fleeting notes. And there will always be something to do to improve in your Zettelkasten. So for perfectionists, uh, it might be not the best tools. Uh, it's a really good tool for creative workers that don't mind uh, having a system that's constantly needing improvement. But when you succeed in establishing a routine, when you succeed to work on your Zettelkasten daily, or even maybe not daily, but even once a week or twice a week or three times a week, then you are on the right track. Then your Zettelkasten will be successful and will help you with time to become a better a better artist, a better writer, a better knowledge worker, a better researcher, and so on. And that's how you build a simple Zeltkasten in Notion. I hope you enjoyed my quick tutorial and uh, please give it a like, of course. <laughs> but if anything is unclear, don't hesitate to comment below. That's everything for today. I wish you a productive week and see you next time.